Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on a toy rotation system that we use in this house. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up if you enjoy the content, and I'm gonna jump right in. So I started this rotation system not that long ago. Um, we started rotating his toys weekly, and it has done wonders. Um, less is more for sure. And I have started using this open shelf system. We removed the bins that we previously had. Um, and this open shelf has just been amazing. Because like he'll see something and he'll just go up, grab it, start playing with it. And since there's not as much on the shelves as there used to be, it has, you know, rather than being overwhelmed with all these toys and having so many options, he just has a few options. So it like almost forces him to like play with just these specific things. So I'm gonna, I thought I'd take you along, show you what we did here. So one of the bins I'll do like a fine motor. So I have his stacking rings right now, um, followed by a shape sorter. And then I have electronic learning toys down on the bottom right. I have this remote control and his leapfrog learning book. So he hadn't seen these in a little while. Um, so I went ahead and put those on the bottom. These are pretty cool. It speaks to you in Spanish and English. There's different categories per page. So like it's a leapfrog. So for example, monkey. Then there's like colors, my body. There's also a section with opposites. So I have this out right now. And then this remote control is also a leapfrog. There's a game on here I really like. It will like flash a number and say press number two. And then you have to press two. And then when it goes to the next one. What do you have? Strawberry chips. Are you showing everybody your strawberry chips? Say they're yummy. Wanting a bun up. Wanting a bobbin up. When he talks, he always has like a joke to say. He like always makes up something. It's unbelievable. <laughs> He's like a jokester. So anyway, so then after it does like number two, then it will flash number four and say four. You have to press it and then it will go to the next number. So I have that out. Then on the, over here, I have puzzles. So he has right now his number puzzle. Um, this is a Melissa and Doug. I showed this in a previous video when I was teaching numbers. I'll link it below. So this is, says one, two anchors, so on and so forth. I have this ship puzzle that's a little bit more complicated. It's for ages two up. He really didn't bother with it, so I'm going to put it away. And then I have these stacking animal blocks that I bought at Target for I think five dollars a few months ago. It's like in January, February. So it's an elephant, a tree, a giraffe, which it looks like we lost half of the giraffe, and a crocodile. So I have those there and then up above I have like a fun activity. This is his garage car set. Um, so you have to hit with a hammer. He has his hammer out in the other room. You hit it for each color, and then when it hits the car, it rides down off the garage. So I have that there, and then I just put like a few of his favorite current things out. So right now it's his helicopter, this helicopter, and then I just put a few cars. I found a piece to the giraffe. So there's certain things that stay out all the time. So like I always keep his kitchen stuff out because he loves his kitchen. We play picnic every morning. Two things stay out. He's obsessed with both of these Fisher Price items. Um, I was going to rotate between the two of them, but then he'd find the barn and then want to play with it. So we just keep it out. And then I keep some type of book out. Right now I have this flat book. So I keep them over here. Lennox, you made a mess. All those strawberries are on the floor. Oh no, how'd they get there? Can you pick them up for mama? Thank you, you're a big helper. So I'm gonna switch that out so, as well. All the other toys we're not using at the moment, I keep in a box in his room, like in a storage Love it. container Whoa. basket with a cover on. So I am going to rotate them now. Love it. 
I found the hammer to your garage, actually. Oh. Yeah. We're going to get new toys. Trouble kit. your tow truck we should bring that out so here is the bin full of stuff I just pulled it out I am going to rotate his toys All right, as you can tell, it's not easy to do, especially in his room, but this is where his toys are at when he likes to get into it while I'm fixing it up. So as you can see, I changed out some of the toys. I put this ladybug musical instrument. Um, he likes to try and put these duplo blocks together. Um, this is a new front loader that I gave him. I put out... Come get him, baby. This rainbow, um, it's not the Montessori ones. It's actually from Walmart and it's plastic. So it's not the, the wooden one, um, but it cost me under $5. So I'll link it below. Um, what goes in this bin is this Fisher Price Zoo Train. Okay. This front loader. And then he got this at my nephew's birthday party and he really likes it. So I put them here. You haven't done rainbow? tunnel in a while. No, do you want to do it? Go build it. Then down in the puzzle pile, this is probably going to be a disaster with all these pieces, but I put the alphabet here. And then I have this Melissa and Doug hammering set. Also with the puzzle. Um, I just stuck this guitar dog from B Toys here. And then down here I have a VTech corner. Um, here's a drum set. And then this little electronic book that sings nursery rhymes. He gets so excited when I change out the toys. Like, I'm telling you guys, it works like a miracle. Lennox, bring them. We can add those books out or those blocks out here. Why don't you bring them out? Should we stack them? He says, he grabs each item. So he'll grab each item that I put out and he'll be like, box in a while rainbow in a while so he'll mean like we haven't done that in a while <laughs> it's just so funny and then he also comes up here when i change out the toys and he'll say all these new toys say all these new toys is there so many many new toys you do it so well yes okay box so he's super excited right now he even gets excited about what was up here and i'm putting it away if i touch it he has to touch it just like when we clean up at nighttime so anyway back to this um so here up in this bin i have his quiet book this is really neat i know it's kind of pricey but it actually does keep him quiet and like the first page is velcro and has shapes the next page has a clock and buttons we're working on the buttons now this is a buckle these are snaps he loves doing the snaps here's the shoe how to tie a shoe when he gets older we'll do that zipper and then here's different touch and feels you want to do it Nagy? you want to do snap no. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. Get it. Good job. And then I'm going to keep this Leapfrog 100 Words book out because he didn't really play with it too much. And I want to encourage it more this week. And then I changed the shape sorter out for Baby Shark Shape Sorter. As you can see, Lennox is enjoying himself already. And then over here, 
the two new books I put were First 100 Words. Um, he hasn't seen this one in a while. And then Never Touch a Dragon. So I do try to make the books that I lay out interactive. I still have his books from the from his book bin. But then I like to put interactive books out here as well. All right. I also want to show you guys the situation in this corner back here. So there's like no rhyme or reason to the toys that are over in this corner of our family room. Lennox's cars and garage toy is just sitting right there. Uh, yes and then this uh, is just kind of a disaster so this is like a lot of uh, extra stuff this is his tunnel he always rips down the velcro so he can play it turns into a car mat um but we just keep uh, his balls in here miscellaneous items we have a car his fisher price airplane some other cars and balls um this was was from when he was little he plays with it every once in a while and then these street signs that we got at Target. That's all he really has out here. He'll either play with this or just bring the toys from his room out. And then over here, on this corner of the room is this set my mom got for him. It's soccer and basketball. He likes to play with this. Um, so that's that. I wanted to briefly discuss Montessori play. I am by no means a Montessori mom, but as referenced on this Melissa and Doug website, I do use some techniques that come from Montessori play. I like the open toy shelf um, system because it encourages independent play, it encourages imagination, and your child feels less overwhelmed because there's less clutter. I also find it easier to rotate the toys on a bi-weekly basis that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed um, my toy rotation idea. I hope this gives you some ideas as well to rotate your little one's toys. So, mystery box. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll see you later.